this is question number 17 and we are told uh, that is 2020 KCSE Mathematics Paper 2 we are told a farmer has two tractors P and Q tractor P working alone can plow a piece of land in five hours while tractor Q would take one and two thirds hours less than tractor P uh, part A determine the time the two tractors plowing together would take to complete the job because of space here I'm going to do this question section by section. I'll start with section A. Uh, so we have uh, P. It is taking five hours. So in one hour, it will take one over one fifth of the job. We can call it X. Uh, Q was working would take one and two thirds hours less than P. So it is five minus uh, one and two that which is equals to uh, this is four this is uh, three and one third of x so so that is the time it is it is state so in one hour that is uh, we say in one hour it will take one divided by three over and a third which we can say it is one this is uh, 10 over 3 which we can write 1 times 1 times th 3 over 10 that is 3 over 10 of the job so in our one hour so we can find out if they are working together uh, so we say P plus Q uh, in one hour it will mean that since it uh, P will do a fifty of the job of X and then uh, we have uh, plus Q will do 3 over 10 of the job uh, of X so this is equals to we can get the LCM is 10 so this is 2 uh, this is plus 3 of X this is 5 over 10 which is if of X which is equals to a half of x so in one hour they'll do a half of the job implying that uh, they will take take one divide by of what they uh, they will do in one hour and this will give you one uh, uh, multiply by two over one of x so it will take two hours two hours that is we have we can have x there uh, so x and x will disappear so it they will take two hours to complete the job so let's go to part b uh, part b one day the tractor started to work uh, started to plow the piece of land together after 40 minutes tractor p broke down but q continued alone and completed the job calculate the total time taken to plow the piece of land that day so we can say P and Q since they are doing we have seen that they are doing half of the job in one hour so we can say 40 minutes uh, they will be able to do uh, part this part of a half uh, that is a fraction of a half so we can simplify here uh, that will give us 2 over 3 multiplied by a half and this is going to give you, you cancel there we get a third so in 40 minutes they will do a third of the job uh, so the balance of the work to be done by Q balance it will be 1 minus 2 that is a third not 2 a third which will give you 2 thirds so that is the work that is remaining and then uh, we have seen that uh, tractor Q uh, takes uh, is doing 3 over 10 over work so we divide 2 over 3 you divide by 3 over 10 the work that is to be done in one hour so that we find the number of hours this will give us 2 over 3 you multiply by 10 divide by 3 and that will give you 20 divide by 9 which is equals to 2 hours uh, that is, uh, you can write it in fraction 2 and 2 
over nine hours. So that is the time uh, the queue will take to complete the job. So we can say total time, uh, we say total time is equals to the hard work for uh, this is uh, two thirds of uh, the hard work for 40 minutes, which is the same as uh, two thirds of an hour. Two thirds you add to two hours, uh, two over nine hours. So this you'll be able to get, uh, this you can write it like this. Uh, you multiply by three, this is six over nine uh, plus two and two over nine. So when you add six and nine, that will give you two and eight over nine hours. So if you can, you can, uh, you, c you can say this is equals to two hours. You multiply eight over nine times sixty, and it will give you fifty-three minutes, uh, twenty seconds. So that is the time, the total time it took uh, the two the tractors to complete that the job that day, and there you will be able to get four marks. So let's go to part C. Part C, in another season, the farmer hired an additional tractor R to assist P and Q, which retained the same rate of working as before. The three tractors took one hour, 12 minutes to plow the same piece of land. The owner of tractor R was paid some money proportional to the work done by the tractor. Uh, if the total work was valued at 20000 find the amount of money paid to the owner of tractor R. So, they completed the job in one hour, 12 minutes. So it is one uh, divided by 60, which you get it is one and one over five to do the job. Now, since we are told uh, that uh, the tractor P and Q retain the same uh, rate of working, uh, tractor, tractor P was working, uh, was would take five hours to complete the job. So in one hour, it would take one over five multiplied by the job that was done, which this is the same as six over five. So it would take a fifth of uh, six over five. And this will be able to get, uh, P will be able to get to do six over 25 of the job. Then we have uh, Q. Uh, Q, the job, it was doing the, at the rate of 3 over 10 of the work. So you multiply by 6 over 5. And this will give you 9 over 25. So it means that uh, uh, since P did a fifth of the work, Q did 3 over 10 of the work, then it means that R, we get the, we get, we get the, the difference. So we say it is 1 minus 6 over 25 uh, plus 9 over 25, uh, which is equals to 1 minus, this is, uh, uh, this will be 15 over 25, which you get it is 3 over 5. Uh, is equals to 2 over 3, so over 5, sorry, over 5. So it means R did 2 fifths of the work. This means that from out of 20, uh, R will, the owner of tractor R will get 2 out of 5 of 20,000. So amount, it will be uh, 2 over 5 multiplied by 20,000 and using your calculator you find that uh, the, the owner of tractor R will be able to get 8,000 shillings uh, as a as a fee for the track for hire for for the track for his tractor which was hired and that is how you do that question if you get to that point then you have scored 10 marks